Hello and welcome to the Business Talk. I am your host, Tolo, the inimitable one, Mutawung. This is where we have conversations with different people exploring the work and business side of things. And of course, we particularly look at South Africans who are really making strides. And we are recording uh, from Dreamstream Studios, which is a hub of creatives. So Dreamstream offers everything you need to create your own online channel, live stream to, multiply, uh, to multiple platforms. Uh, it also enables hybrid and live link apps. So it hosts uh, studio-based streams and you can also enjoy a Dreamstream's video on demand services. So do check them out on all social media platforms. They are Dreamstream. Today, I am joined by the courageous and dynamic powerhouse who is the force behind the brand that champions authenticity and also vulnerability. Uh, she recently announced the highly anticipated return of a YouTube talk show. It is called After Dark with Kaise. She is a very common face in our screens. She is famous for uh, the presenter of Our Perfect Wedding. <laughs> and I'm sure many of us uh, got to pay attention when we, go, we saw her uh, from there. Uh, besides that, she is also an actress and has premiered in several uh, shows. Her name is Gaise Ngula. 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 <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Got I thought it. I should help you. Got then. it. Yeah. yeah. How thank are you so you? much. I'm good. How are you? Good. Thank you. Too. I'm actually excited that you could make it. Thank you. And for that we can me. have a sit down with you. Absolutely. I'm yeah. always for conversations. Uh, Great, wholesome, authentic conversations. Yeah. You don't need to ask me twice. Amazing stuff. <laughs> and uh, congratulations for bringing back season two. Thank you. Hey. Thank um, you. I, I mean, it's not always that we, we get to sustain good things, mm. right? Mm -hmm. But this was really, um, when I saw it, I thought, great one, great wow. one. It's really needed. And and can we take it back perhaps to, seasons, to season one uh, in terms of what inspired the concept? Yeah. Uh, you, you After know. Dark. Yeah. It's all in the name. You can uh, hear, you know. And, and I know After Dark for other people, it's other things. Yeah. Uh, but for me, it was inspired by the scripture. It, you are the light and the salt of the earth, mm. a light that cannot be hidden. Yeah, You are on a city hill for everyone to see. I mean, I'm paraphrasing here. Yeah. But really, it speaks to the, the purpose of us to be seen, you know, and use ourselves as a centerpiece uh, for shining God's glory, for... I suppose the things that he has done or the things that have happened in our lives yeah. to tell the story, but we cannot be hidden, you know, and s sort of shying away, mm. you know, you've got to shine bright. Yeah. And I needed to affirm that to myself at a time where I was, I was really, you know, in the dark, uh, going through, you know, um, loss and grief, uh, after I lost my husband. Mm. So tragically in a car accident, um, that I was involved in with him mm. and, at the time, you know, uh, with the team that I was working with, you know, on brand guys, if I can call it, yeah. we, 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 we needed a way, an authentic way that would empower my voice in owning my own narrative about what had happened because mm -hmm. I had not spoken, I think, to media for about a year, yeah. you know, um, recuperating in my own corner, you know, mm -hmm. hidden, you yeah. know. And we, we, we just couldn't find something that really felt as strongly, you know, I think that would hold it in the sensitivity mm -hmm. um, and in the in the dignity that we felt it would deserve. Um, it was a widespread story. Mm -hmm. For some reason, I think people just sympathized having seen me on our perfect wedding, yeah. like you say, growing up from being a young girl to a young woman mm -hmm. um, who, well, I was a young woman. I wasn't so young when I, <laughs> I ended up, up perfect. I was over 25. Yeah. So, but I mean, that transition from being a young lady to being a wife and a mother all happened on that beautiful show, yeah. which is centered around family. So it only made a beautiful kind of, it was, it, it made sense. It was a beautiful transition. And so when this thing happened, people were really, really shocked and devastated on my behalf. And so when I when I had taken the time away, I needed to come back showing them exactly what had happened, uh -huh. uh, owning that story. And I didn't think anybody else could tell it better than me. Mm -hmm. And that's what inspired After Dark with Gaius. Yeah. So my team and I, you know, read the scripture. And the only thing that came across was After Dark. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. After dark, what comes? Yeah. Because that's what the question was that we were asking ourselves as a team, as how do we position mm. me now? What happens now? And all we realized was that we were seeking the light. Yeah. And hence the name After Dark with Gaise, um, which was born as, as a talk show on YouTube. I think also it was special because particularly at the time it was COVID yeah. and a lot of people were experiencing darkness mm. in their lives. Mm. You know, many losses were happening. Yeah. Jobs, family members, uh, se um, separations, you know, families were, were being really hit hard by what was happening with the global pandemic. And yeah, man, it was, it was so suited. It was so relevant at the time and it affirmed me as well that I was not alone yeah I was certainly not going through the pain and the trauma alone mm. and by having conversations with people who are also going through some things but excuse me they were adamant to to rise from that mm. it meant that we could only give one another the strength that we needed and, to. and I think that the, 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 the power is uh, on, on that part uh, because I find it very profound in that uh, as human beings we struggle with where with to sharing. from here absolutely right absolutely. Uh, it's that you know with great loss yes the biggest worry is now how am i going to navigate from my this way exactly forward, and know? being in the public space for me I it meant imagine. i had to navigate it even on an even greater yeah. platform or sense because yeah. you know now people were like really asking where is she mm. how is she going to come back from this you know and i also didn't have the answers yeah i think most importantly i was vulnerable in that sense to say, was that why you took a back uh, seat to say yeah let, let me oh yeah apart from, from being really bit. injured and not being able to show up anyway yeah. uh, and having to recuperate with my own doctors and everybody that was kind of nursing me back to life yeah life coaches priests you name it yeah. therapists i had i was so blessed to, mm -hmm. to to really have the time away where i could be worked on back mm -hmm. to health but my husband didn't get that chance yeah. and now i had to go and sort of recalibrate what life without him meant mm -hmm. um and like i said what what did this mean for everybody else that was going through the same thing in yeah. life we were all seeking answers like we were hit with a global pandemic sure. that we had never seen before and we were just like, but, but where do we go now? We're working from home. Kids are home. Families are stuck together. <laughs> it was crazy, you know? So we all needed a place to find solace. And I think online content was also on the rise at the time mm -hmm. because people mm -hmm. were, you know, going onto their phones. And this show, you know, so beautifully came up and allowed me to have a voice, you yeah. know, allowed me to cry, you know, allowed me to be vulnerable, but also just feel strong again because I think with each episode, I became stronger. Yeah. I, came more, I became more powerful because i had experts you know who were actually teaching me how to get through this as they were teaching our viewers sure yeah that that, that is incredible uh because um I, I i wanted you to share with us how it was received you know in general and for you as well um how did it impact your life yeah okay if we want to talk numbers <laughs> <laughs> uh, that first episode did a whopping 1.8 million it's Whoa. sitting there now wow we had That's no huge. idea that is huge the show in its entirety i think on its lifetime and this is four years ago is yeah. sitting at about 2.4 million views as it sits now well so done. we would probably be far if we hadn't stopped and i'm so sad we had to but i mean you would know running your yeah. own thing is not easy and i think more than anything i realized there was actually more work to be done mm. within myself you know after producing it for that year and then i couldn't go back because there were so many more discoveries you know healing is messy yeah. sometimes one thing can trigger another and then you realize you need to dig a bit deeper hence it's a process it's a you need process to be able that to everybody to needs to absolutely and go through every step and don't it. put a time limit if it takes you 10 years it's your journey yeah. for me it's taken me five years yes the show was really four years ago but the journey started the year before when, yeah. when, when the accident happened you know I had to go and recalibrate and understand about well, who was Gaisa before this catastrophic thing happened yeah. um, what is now my connection to my child my, my motherhood journey who am I in my family you know there was my career you know mm, you know everything. trauma can take away even your your confidence your self esteem to do the things that you think you were born to do mm. I wouldn't be able to speak to you like this as confidently if I didn't take the four years to go and recreate it as I have now sure yeah. <laughs> it is, it is <laughs> so that's how it impacted yeah. me yeah yeah and and I think um I admire your bravery to say I'm going to open up 
to share it with everyone because I feel like doing that also, you sort of became the blueprint uh, to other women because oh. um, the, w when you launched, I think it was uh, World um, International, International Widow's Day. Day, you know. What was the and that actually, by the way, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. So we, we were planning to launch it the day before, which mm -hmm. was the 22nd, and my husband, it was the uh, commemoration, not the oh, anniversary, yeah. whichever word, but yeah, it had been a year since my husband had passed. And for some reason, this thing was not uploading. We had technical issues, glitches. So we sat up until midnight the next day with my team yeah. and it only uploaded. But the next day was International Widows Day. Oh. So both these days were so applicable to the story. Um, God was working there. Oh, like I actually get goosebumps. God was working Talking there. about it because... Yeah. Either way, it was the right time mm. to do it. And I believe so with my heart and soul. And like I said, it went on to do amazing things for people. People yeah. went to comment like, thank you for getting me through this. Thank you for showing me that you are a light. Thank you for being a human being. Because sometimes when you work in the public space, people think we don't go through these True. things. People True. think we don't have, yeah. we're not human. We are just as human. We go through struggles. But most importantly, we also want to celebrate our victories. Yeah. And that's what I was saying. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, incredible. <laughs> so so, so now uh, coming to season two, what can viewers expect this time around? Well, season two is fantastic. Uh, and I say so myself, it's out already. Episode yeah. one is up. And I think I'm proud of it because of the work that we, it's, it's a work of heart. I was saying yeah. to off camera that it's a work of heart. Um, we, we have invested, I've invested, my team has invested their heart and soul in it. Uh, aesthetically, we look even better, you know, from a production <laughs> point of view. But also we've expanded, you know, our content pillars and our offerings. So, like I said, it was always centered around who Kaisa is, is, right? Yeah, but now yeah. in extension of that, it's about fostering this genuine community and, you know, and, 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 and connection with the viewers and mm. the people that follow my work. Yeah. So Kaisa is multifaceted, you know, multifaceted rather. She's a woman and you would know women are the greatest creation to hit earth. So a woman may be a widow, yes, like me, but she's a mother. Mm. Uh, she's a career woman. She's a business woman. She is a girlfriend. She's uh, you know, she's a lover. She's a wife. She's a cousin. She's, she's a an cousin. Aunt to someone. You know, she's she's something to somebody. You know, and so that's no different to me. So my team said, but if it's guy with guy, so then let's show women more. Let's give them lifestyle. Let's give them fashion. Let's give them beauty. Yeah. The things that I love. Let's give them home living. They love their homes. I just bought a new home. So let's talk about, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about those things. Let's talk about being a mother. I'm a special needs mom. Mm. How many more special needs moms are out there needing, you know, support and empowerment about their journeys, mm. but also we're just parents. Yeah. And that that is a it's a difficult task you know but it's a beautiful one very rewarding and so we have expanded the show to yeah. really include so it's not a grief show but we can talk about that mm. because it's part of life yeah. you know just like you know giving birth is the beginning of life and the end of life yeah. but in between that there's so much more right mm. um and yeah relationships you know important so just rebuilding life getting to be the best versions of yourself, wellness, how do you become, you know, this person who can thrive, you know, in your story. And we're not saying, excuse me, problems aren't going to come, mm, but now we can point. become better equipped, you know, and I certainly think I'm better equipped in my life with whatever challenges hit my way or come my way. Mm -hmm. I really know now that, you know what, girl, you got this, you got <laughs> this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, so you, you, I, I want us to take it back a little bit. Uh, because you are also a mom, mm. right? And you, you've you now, you know, navigated different workspaces as, as a mom. How are you able to bring that balance, you know, to your life? Of There's never any it? balance, really. I yeah. think it's really all integration. Um, today, for instance, I woke up, had another interview. Yeah. I had to rush to a business meeting, had to rush to you and to have this uh, interview with you. But in between, there was time where I was supposed to be picking up my son from school. Mm. So I realized, okay, I'm not going to make it because to drive there and back here and this meeting was closer to you. So a mom's brain is always planning. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it, I could rely in the mm. support that I've set up. And I'm so blessed to be able to say, I 
have helpers for my son. You know, he's got a caregiver. There's a helper at home. There are drivers that I can rely on or, you know, public transport that I can send for him. So it's all about finding ways to match these things because you don't want any one of these things to feel like they're yeah. not getting the best of you. You know, my work is important, but so is my motherhood journey. And I can tell you I'm relaxed now yeah. because I know. Dream Stream, a place to create yourself. Record video, music, and podcasts in our full service studio. Record video, music, and podcasts in our full service studio. Dreamstream, a place to create yourself. home safely taken care, taken of. care <laughs> of you know after school he's yeah. still learning he's got people who are attending to that so I'm really 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 finding I think my best foot in, yeah. in managing being a mom and a businesswoman yeah. and sometimes a girlfriend and you know yeah 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 yeah, <laughs> to balance yeah, 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 try got, to, yeah before, yeah before I got in here I had to make a call like yeah. I'm just checking in how's your day going so yeah, yeah being a woman is a lot but it's, it's lovely because yeah. I don't imagine being anything else I feel like like this is how God made a woman. A woman can have her hands everywhere yeah. in the best way and still achieve. So you can have everything, but just not at the same time. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you've got to know that where. That is so powerful. Yeah. Because, because I, was, I was listening to Sorisha Naidu's interview the other day and she was saying it's okay for a woman to allow herself to be the nurturer because that's basically your what purpose you on earth. Literally. You know? and, and, but, you know, you're saying there's no balance, but... With, with how you are able to manage that that's the balance to you mm. right because it is the balance you are able to get everything done when it's necessary for it the to be done the feeling i have when i lay my head to sleep <laughs> i'm tired but i'm also like god thank you for the resilience because it's thank also you fulfilling for the so fulfilling yeah so fulfilling because i look at my diary i'm like tick 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 and even though there's no tick sometimes i'm like get to it tomorrow yeah, it's okay yeah. you know and forgive yourself in, uh, for those moments of I think I think being down or not being able to get to everything mm. there's always tomorrow and and being a mom <laughs> to a special needs child yeah. what, what, what does that look like um, it's hard yeah but I think you know perspective has and perception changes everything once you are empowered and informed about this person yeah. because special needs people are also not the same mm. you know we, we we can't put a blanket approach and say I bonke they are like this yeah. no my son Uzuko is mm -hmm. a special needs but he is specific yeah he's unique yeah. so when i got to tap into that it became so much more of in fact it's a fascination for me because my son is living with autism and okay. i'm just like you're just you're such a superhuman being because you're not able to verbally tell me some of the, but he communicates um we know what he needs you know he can express it like any other child whether he'll cry he'll be frustrated okay. you know throw a tantrum or have a meltdown that's how we read and it's intuitive i can't really put it into yeah, to yeah. words but of course the people who work around him have also had to pick up on that and and, and i think they're also god given because there are people that are specifically assigned you know for okay. people living with special needs they may have the qualification, but mm. if they don't have the heart, it won't and happen. And it starts there. And it starts there, yeah. you know, to just have the patience and the tolerance for him. Um, and, and and it's expensive, you know. <laughs> it's a lot of, you know, other things on earth that I could deem difficult. Mm. But I, I, I've chosen to embrace my child for who he is. Yeah. And I think he's a superhuman being because, you know, autistic people have, I think, an inflated sense of not inflated but a higher sense of stimulation for okay. everything so nothing passes them by mm -hmm. we you know the lights here are just lights but for, for him they can be too much or they can oh. be fascinating so it's just that intuitive and yeah. deep connection within themselves that i find so absolutely mm -hmm. amazing that i think i'll forever you know be intrigued by how he sees the world yeah. and continues to teach me more about tolerance about inclusivity and about love really yeah. because that's what centers everything sure this is a mother <laughs> so, incredible yeah. and um you you mentioned that you know uh you 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 had to 
take a step back to to recuperate and and, and all of that. Uh, but coming back, you ensured that you get the brand guys going. I hope so. <laughs> no, you did. <laughs> you did, and and I'm curious about how how were you able to do that? I mean, we we live in a world now that you know with social media and everything that is happening, things are so fast paced. You know. Out of sight, out of mind. But you came back, you remained relevant, and you worked and made an impact still mm. going forward. I think that was the strength in taking the time away. Mm. Because life is a journey. Like yeah. Nobody's going to stay at the top. Mm. Nobody's also going to stay at the bottom. So it's that deep knowing within yourself that it's not my time now. Yeah. My time is going to come. Sit back, relax, do whatever else you need to do to just get life going and get you by. And so I think that's when artists or people in the industry, like you say, um, because it's so fast paced, find other interests, you mm. know, because we're all multifaceted beings. We can yeah. do so much more. If you tap into your skills and your gifts and your abilities, you'll find that even when you're away from the limelight, there are other things that you can do to make a living for yourself, but also just stimulate you so that you're not resting while mm. you're away, mm. you know? Mm. Um, so that's what I did. And then when I could feel that, you know, it's it's almost like it's intuitive. It's it's in the pulse, you know? I could feel that, okay, girl, you ready. Yeah. Go pick it up where you left it off. And you might not do it in a day or in a year or in six months, but you can certainly try. And I think that's where the effort and the A plus is, where you can say, I gave it my all to come back. Yeah. And those who love you, those who are with you, have been with you from day one, will continue to journey with you. And I think that's what is happening with me. I'm just not like, hey, I'm back. Like, yeah. and let's. I'm just slowly, you know, introducing people, reintroducing people actually to the new me, um, the new healed me yeah. the new affirmed me and i love her and i hope that people will also get to know this version mm -hmm. that they didn't really get to know because i think i was always this girl but mm -hmm. life happened yeah. and, and yeah. i had to i had to go back you know and clearly pants and and start over and i'm very happy yeah i'm good incredible <laughs> and have have you always known that you'll be in the limelight where where, where, yeah, where does this come i'm not from? even gonna be like shy i don't know <laughs> you know my my grandfather may his beautiful soul rest in peace i used to say to him i would sit on his lap and the way i love my first love is music i okay. love to sing and i thought that's what well, I was gonna going do, to go. like my spotlight. Yeah. yeah, that was gonna be like my spots into the mainstream um, media space. So I used to say to my grandfather's life, and yo, that don't call him now. We also born a TV, we also born a pa. And we'd be watching and I'll be singing like to Whitney Houston or something. Yeah. And then I'm like, even if you're dead, you'll see me. And he, he would love, but took one journey because I'll be dead, you know? But I've always had the sense of confidence. Um, I've always seen myself as a star. Mm. Um, I just didn't know how I was going to become one. Was it going to be acting? Was it going to be presenting? Was I going to be singing? You know, in fact, I thought I could do all. Yeah. And I think I am blessed to be able to do most of those things. Um, my mom would tell you that even at school, um, I was always the, you know, the kid on stage sport here and there but mm. if she if More she, of a performer absolutely the cultural things you would find me there and you know i needed her to come and watch all the time so if it, if it was public speaking come and watch if it's debating mommy please make sure you're at the school we're debating with the school mm -hmm. if i'm on the stage i'm dancing it's drama it's choir yay you name it so i was that kid you know yeah. and and i enjoyed doing it and i knew that this is what i was born to do mm -hmm. my mom actually on episode one of after dark tells that story that I was probably as young as three when I could articulate, I've done modeling. You know, I've always wow. wanted to be the center of attention, be beautiful and appreciated for the gifts that I have. Mm. So sure. I don't know where it comes from. It comes from God. It, it, it is. Right? It, <laughs> and it I, can, is I, can, I can actually truly say I'm living my dream. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And and uh, this industry can be challenging at times, Absolutely. you know. Can, can you uh, think of the moments that you, you celebrate that you were able to overcome certain challenges? Whoa. It, it, it's tough, né, this industry. But when I think about my journey, mm -hmm. That from that little girl who used to affirm herself and everybody else who could dare to listen or care to listen, yeah. that this is what I wanted them to know that I would become. And then that, you know, 
I think, effort that I had to put in, you know, consistently. There's no audition I didn't go for. There was no presenter search that they would call out that I would not be in the line for, standing for hours. Um, sure. There were, I mean, in varsity, I would go to the radio station, to campus station, and, 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 and be on, you know, standby with the main presenters, or sometimes just to go and watch. Um, I had friends in the industry who were artists that go to their performances during varsity uh, or maybe go to their, you know, interviews like I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So I was always aligning myself. Like you say, it's tough, but you've got to know how to navigate yeah. and get yourself in there. And then this beautiful, miraculous thing happened for me, which I knew God had set aside for me. I mean, winning the Our Perfect Wedding Presenter Search competition was a game changer. Yeah. And man, when I think about all the no's that I got in the past, like you're saying, the rejection, mm -hmm. it all fell away because yeah. it meant that there was this one thing that was set apart for me and it's never been done again mm -hmm. and it probably won't be. But I've been so blessed to be able to say I was the first. I yeah. was the inaugural one. And I want to see more. You know, I'm very passionate about talent um, and developing talent. I want to see more young girls. I come from the Eastern Cape and many of them, when they see me, they're just like, this guy is there. We want to be like you. Yeah. How do we find ourselves? So I have those dreams of creating this creative ecosystem and and empowerment platforms where I can develop talent to reach such great heights. But mm. it's got to start within. You've got to believe it. It's not about picking up somewhere. Oh, it looks like it's nice to be famous. Yeah. No, you've mm. got to know that this is the goal and you must be relentless in chasing mm. after it. Mm. I stood in that line for 18 hours in heels. I know it's a bit crazy, but I remember some people saying to me, just by looking at me, they used to be like, girl, you're here to take it. You are the one. And a few weeks later, during elimination, during that, you know, that, uh, that sh sorry, that, that show mm -hmm. that people were watching as it was progressing up until the winner, I got to showcase yeah. to people why I thought I was the one. So that is when uh, opportunity meets, meets preparation. preparation. And because that's you've what, done like, your 10,000 hours, I've right? Done, I've done because it. I've we, paid we my Because we see dues. the results, but you've started. Absolutely. And even if I world. never become the biggest star, mm -hmm. It is well with me because I've attained what the dream has been. I get to sit here with you and yeah. tell my story. What is the problem? <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. Yeah. And um, episode one yes. is, is now out yes. of the second season. Yeah. Um, people can can now catch it on on there. On YouTube. On, on and it's YouTube. all the, the link is on all my social media platforms. Yeah. So TikTok, Facebook. Twitter X. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're still going to call We're it Twitter. Still the, uh, please. It's going to be there forever. Because now do we exit or do we tweet? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, and, and Facebook. Did I mention yeah. Facebook or TikTok? And yeah. TikTok. So all yeah. across and then the, the, the channel is on YouTube. Lovely. Yeah. That, that, that is so and convenient. And podcast platforms. Well, not yeah. all, but for now we're on Apple and Spotify. Okay. Yeah. Incredible. And uh, in terms of the episodes, how soon do, yeah. you, do you release? So, so, so because we're just trying to slowly, you know, um, reintroduce ourselves to people yeah. uh, and and a lot of the you know conversations we've been having about have been about season i mean the episode one because we mm -hmm. want to feedback from people what do you guys think yeah. should we do more of this do you like the style what conversations do you want to hear so we're probably going to come through once or twice a month okay. you know for now yeah. and then hopefully as things grow and we become better and we get more engagement from you guys more subscriptions from you guys <laughs> then we can do Connect. more consistent you yeah. know work for you but for now to be once or twice a month i think yeah every Every two weeks, we'll try and release a new episode. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, on, by the way, Spotify is now visual as well. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Thank you so for okay. catching on Spotify we as plugged. a visual as well. Yeah. And uh, YouTube as a visual and then as a podcast. Yeah. Well. So there's no way you cannot find it. I love that. I love that. <laughs> Anything that we can expect from you? In the near future? Yeah, so Canaan Media, my multimedia production company that I'm very proud of, which has actually been the dream. Yeah. I know the dream has been to the to be the talent, mm -hmm. but the dream has also been to, you know, to own my little empire. Uh, I'll be humble about it. Yeah. And I'm starting here. You know, this is a production company that I think God has gifted me with. Mm -hmm. And we're going to produce TV and film, okay. hopefully in the future online like we're doing right now online content and music we have a little bit of an audio company going as well okay. so yeah man it's it's a whole conglomerate that we're building yeah. and we'll definitely do events centered around some of the work that we're doing just to make sure that we have that community engagement element going in yeah. there as well 
Shoot, that's what entrepreneurs do, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Look, uh, we wish you it. all the best. Thank right? you. May, may God guide you and protect you. Thank keep you. Keep that wisdom going mm. and the greed going. Mm. Uh, you inspire a lot of people. Thank and you. And thank you for availing yourself for these kind of thank conversations. You for it's, been it's been a, a pleasure. Great one. Subscribe, guys. Uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> After dark with guys. <laughs> yeah. Do, do not forget, go check it out uh, on all social media platforms as she has shared with us. Until the next one, uh, please stay blessed.